If you need to factor the equation 2x squared minus 7x plus 6, here's how you do it. First off, we need to set up a skeleton equation like this right here. But we need to take into account the 2 here. So let's move the x over and write in 2. Now we can add the signs to our skeleton equation. Since we have a negative in the center here, if the center term is negative, well, a negative and a negative in our skeleton, like this. At this point, we're going to find the factors for the last term, the 6, and they should add up to the middle term, the 7 here. But we have this 2, so that makes it a little bit more complicated. Let's write the factors for 6. So when I look at this, I could put the 2 here or the 3 here. I think what I'll do is I'll put the 3 here and the 2 here, because 2x times negative 2 is negative 4x, negative 3 times x, negative 3x. So negative 3x and negative 4x, that would give me the 7x, negative 7x. And then negative 3 times negative 2 gives me the 6 here. But we should check our work with the FOIL method. Multiply the first, outside, inside, and last. When we do that, we get... We can combine these two terms here to get... And since this is what we started out with, we've correctly factored the equation 2x squared minus 7x plus 6. Let's take a moment and find the values for x. If we put them into the equation here, it'll make this side of the equation equal to 0. 0 equals 0. That's a true statement. So we could say 2x minus 3 equals 0. 2x equals a negative 3. Divide both sides by 2, and x equals a negative 3 over 2. Here, x minus 2 equals 0, so x equals 2. If you put 2 in for x here, and you do the math, this side of the equation, it's going to equal 0. Likewise, if you put negative 3 over 2 in for x and you do the math, this side will equal 0 as well. So we've done this part here correctly. If you use the quadratic equation, you'll get these exact answers here. This is Dr. B, factoring the equation 2x squared minus 7x plus 6. Thanks for watching.